Welcome back to Studio Chatter. Everywhere you look, you see signs for CBD. Let's get some education about the topic. Welcome, Mr. Mike Van Dyke from Access Accident Center here in Spanish Fork. Welcome. Welcome, Thank Mike. You. Oh. Thanks for having First me. First of all, where is Access? Um, we are in the brand new building that's right next to the SNS Texaco gas station, kind of on the corner yes. of 8th North and 8th East. Used to be a beautiful crawl. building. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I do know. Yeah. So we've been curious about this for a while. You know, when you do see the all of the signs popping up everywhere, right. and it seems to be on every corner. And, and even a lady in my neighborhood made the comment the other day. She said, "Oh, you know, this used to be such a nice little neighborhood, and now we so and so is selling CBD." <laughs> so right. help us break the myth or establish the difference. Okay. Well, before that, though, like, okay. yes, access, tell us about, about you. Who are you? Okay. So like I'm, what, who are you I'm, 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 right, right. And then we got there. Um, I'm Dr. Mike with Access Accident Center. I'm a chiropractor. So we deal with all kinds of issues. Typically people come to see us because they're in pain. Mm -hmm. So the CBD goes hand in hand with what we do because the number one reason to use CBD is for pain. Okay. So it just goes hand in hand with what we do. And CBD is different than marijuana. Will you explain that? Yes. I think that's the most confusing that is the thing biggest about myth this. Out there. Mm -hmm. So CBD comes from the hemp plant, which is different than the marijuana plant. So the hemp plant has about 20% CBD and less than 0.3% of the THC, which is what gets you high. That's what's in marijuana. So, so the, the THC marijuana, gets us high, which yes. the CBD has less of. So there's or, there, this or THC and CBD are two separate things. Okay. So in the cannabis species of plant, there's hemp and there's marijuana. Okay. So hemp has CBD, no THC. Marijuana has some CBD and a lot of THC. And THC is the stuff that gets that you high. That makes sense. Yes. You got so, that? I think so. CBD, not high. THC, high. High. But both can help with pain elements. Both can help with pain elements. Okay. CBD is actually stronger in pain relief than than THC oh, so it's it's a better product without the the side effects the side effects so is there any side effects with the CBD um, the only side effects with CBD some people have some digestive maybe a little bit of diarrhea and fatigue those are the only two real side effects for That's using CBD. That's a lot CBD. less than anything approved and it's, FDA. Yes, yes. Exactly. and it's it's a very small percentage of people that have but any no side gonna effects. But no one's going to get high by taking no it. One's gonna no get one's going to needing to worry about a drug test or no. anything like that. Okay, yeah, it that's won't show up in myth. anything. Yep. Okay, perfect. Okay. Who, who can benefit from this, Mike? Um, really, there's there's more and more research that they're finding that CBD can help with so many things. Okay. And the reason for that is that the, the receptors for the CBD, they're finding them in all of our systems, in the nervous system, in the digestive system, in our skin. So that's why you so see So a receptor is something that will absorb right. that product and then... Or, or the CBD will block that receptor. So if, mm -hmm. if it's a pain issue, it'll block that, that pain receptor and helps mm -hmm. that way. Yeah. So we've, I mean, it's super mainstream now. So it's online, it's on the corner, it's, you know, on the shelves, there's different forms, there's oil there. You've brought some pills, some pills tonight yeah. there. I mean, there's, you know, a cream you can put on, there's all sorts of things. Um, what do you feel is when, with your patients, how does it contribute to help in their adjustments or their pain? Do you offer it? Or do you suggest it? How does how does that work? <laughs> so we in in our office we don't push any supplements or okay. nutritional pills. If people ask us about it, this is this is what we offer. Okay, it really is effective, and we we probably should offer it more mm -hmm. because of how effective it is for people, um, and because the the receptors are in so many different systems, it can help with lots of things. That's why you see it in in creams and pills and all the different things so because there's so the many best, uses. I guess there's not a best way to take it, but why would you take it differently? A oil compared to a cream compared mm -hmm. to a pill? So How do they differentiate? <clears throat> the cream is going to go directly on your skin. So if you have a skin issue, then it's going to help right locally where that is. Uh, a pill is going to help better for a systemic problem or, you know, if you have lots of pain all over or an inflammatory condition, things okay. like MS or um, high blood pressure, for example, the CBD really helps with 
those types of things, anxiety and depression are also two of the big ones that CBD helps with as I well. I think the big alarming thing was epilepsy or seizures. I think yes. those were the patients that were really trying to get it passed. So they did, the FDA did approve a CBD infused drug for two specific types of epilepsy. Mm -hmm. And it's super, super effective, hardly any side effects, and it's, it's really, they're doing good research on it. Mm -hmm. But it is approved for those two regulated drugs. So with seizures, is a CBD better or than a THC so for fighting the, that? The CBD and the THC kind of work hand in hand. Okay. And depending on the doses... Mm. CBD can inhibit the THC or, or the other way around. Okay. So the dosing needs to be exact really good kind of for, for, what, the patient. for what you want. Yeah. Gotcha. So I do have MS. And so I was wondering, how can that help me, the CBD? Like, what does it do for that disease? Because I've heard a lot of people tell me that I should look into it. So one of the main benefits of using CBD is that it decreases inflammation. So if you take a pill... Wherever you have inflammation in your body, it's going to go to those receptors and it's going to reduce that inflammation. Calm it down. So if it's MS, then that's one of the big things is that MS is an inflammatory condition. Mm -hmm. So it, it helps to just calm it down. Okay. Yeah. Does it react with other drugs? Like when, you know, there's a lot of warnings, like do not take this drug. If you're taking this drug, do people need to be conscientious mm -hmm. of if they're taking things already? Will this? Definitely. Okay. Um, and if, if you find CBD in a bottle, it better have a warning on it that says talk to your healthcare professional before you use this if you're taking any kind of medication. Because it affects so many different things in your body, mm -hmm. there's lots of different medications that it can affect For and sure. it can either increase or decrease the effectiveness, effectiveness of those And you would know medications. all of those drugs? Like if someone came in and said, I'm on, on these three medications, will it affect anything? If or not, I'll look it up. Okay. <laughs> so you can find those answers. Yeah. Or can you talk to a pharmacist? A pharmacist would know more offhand. More, they, okay. At least I think they would know more okay. than I would know. Because a lot of those things I would just look it up and, and see. Okay. So. so with all the places that we can go and find it, where is a safe place? How do we know what mm -hmm. we're getting is something that's yeah. safe? safe. So <laughs> going you, to you, can you, you can definitely come and get some the pills from me. If, if most lotions are going to be safe. Um, if, if you, if you're going to take a pill or if you're going to try and use it like vaping or something like oh, that, then, then you want to go to a, a reputable source to get it. Um, yeah. Interesting that you bring that up though, because that would probably be the next step, I guess, if, if somebody really did have like a cannabis card or they wanted to inhale, you know, to actually ingest it right. into their body and not orally through a pill that, I mean, you would have to be super concerned about how you're ingesting it, right? Yeah. And if, if you're going to vape, I, I personally don't know of CBD oil that doesn't have THC for mm -hmm. vaping mm -hmm. because typically if you're going to vape, then it's they're trying to get, to get the feeling. high. Mm -hmm. And so that, that's one that I'd be really careful with. And I, one of the big differences between CBD and THC is that CBD is not regulated, right? You can... Okay. You can buy and sell it anywhere in the United States. It's, and it's because of the low level of THC in it? Right. Is that correct? It, it's, okay. There's little to none, so there's no psychoactive effect. Okay. So, and you, you just can't get high off it. Okay. You can't get high. So, you could, so you it, could, it's just you helping could take, us not getting us high. Yes. Okay. You perfect. could take 10 bottles of these pills. And, and not feel our age. Okay, that just, was what I was nervous about, too. Free, right? <laughs> yeah. If you have a bad hip or something. <laughs> yep. Wow. Awesome. Well, we like I said, we want to be educated for a while. So thank you so much. For, you bet. So we don't need to be afraid us. when we see CBD for sale. People don't need to worry that it's a bunch of no, I not know, at all. Drug not addicts, drug addicks, it, pot smokers. It, it comes yeah, from whatever the hemp it comes plant, from. The same plant that they use to make paper and clothes and things like that. Not the marijuana plant. And it's probably a lot healthier than some of the pills and the drugs mm -hmm. that are being produced. Yeah, for very, the body. very little side effects. It's all natural. So yeah. And if people have questions, they're welcome to come to my office. They can ask me. I'll talk to them about it, whatever they want to know. And if they need a great chiropractor. And if yes. they need a great adjustment, come on over. Okay. What How do we get a hold of you then? You don't take insurance, you told me. It's just a flat 35 $35 Perfect. for an adjustment. The only like, insurance. That's really great. Mm -hmm. Just 
to come in and get adjusted? Yeah, the only insurance we work with is auto insurance. When someone's been in an auto accident, oh, okay. the auto insurance covers their treatment. Okay. But okay. other than that. Okay, thanks, Mike. You bet. Thanks awesome. for having me. Thanks so much. There's more studio chatter coming up.